Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video, guys. Today, we're not going to be playing any games. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create YouTube shorts yourself. I've been creating them. You can make them on anything. I am make them with, like, my gaming clips, and that is what this example will be today. And also, you can use this in any editing, uh, like, program. Just your editing program might have a different, like, setup to get to this. But I can guarantee you, like, 99.999% of all editing programs can do this. It's super simple. You just have to figure out how to do it on yours. I'm going to be doing it on Vegas Pro 17. Let's hop right into it. So in this method, you do not have to have the current YouTube Shorts camera, like beta, on your phone. I know that some people, it's basically like mostly India right now, but some people have it on the front. You do not need that for this. I do everything right from my computer. My phone does not get used at all. You can use your phone for this. But in this scenario, we're going to be using our computer. And this clip right here, like I said, I do it with gaming clips. As you can see, this is recorded horizontally, a 1920 by 1080 screen. But we're gonna be turning this into a vertical clip so this is our clip right here just whatever it's called uh hiding like snakes and we're gonna go over to our vegas and here's the first thing you want to do like i said every program you're gonna have your own thing but this is very important this is the most important thing your width instead of being 1920 and then height 1080 that's your standard clip you want to revert those two so you want your width to be 1080 and your height to be 1920 that way it's a long clip it's a vertical clip not horizontal all these other settings right here are specific to my Vegas Pro. If you're on Vegas Pro, you can copy these most certainly if you want to. If you want to pause the video, copy these and save it. If you're not on Vegas Pro, don't worry about it. The only thing you need to worry about, keep everything else the same that you normally do. Just change your width to 1080 and your height to 1920 as you can see here. So now we're going to be actually in the like storyboard here. Mine is a little bit, I have like a system I got going on here. Don't worry about this. This is going to be plain, but you're going to take your clip and you're going to slide it in here. And it's going to say, for Vegas Pro specifically, do you want to set your project video set to match this media? No, you don't. Because if you click yes, it's going to turn your video from a 1080 by 1920 back to a 1920 by 1080. So you do not want to do that. Now, here's what we're going to do. For my video specifically, your videos may be different. But for mine specifically, I use three different layers. I have the layer that's my face cam on the top, the circle. And then I have the layer that is the gameplay. And then I have the layer that's the back, like blurred out background. That way I don't have these black bars because they just look ugly. So real quick, I'll just show you if you were to just have a standard clip here, like a standard, like you're not layering it. You just want to like you just have one clip. All you have to do is right click and do match aspect, match output aspect. And right here, as you can see in our preview, you already have like it's full. And that's exactly what you want. That's exactly what you want. You want it to be full screen. This is what we're going for. But like I said, for this gaming clip, this is, I'm showing you for a gaming clip. If you're not doing a gaming clip, you're just doing a real life clip. This is all you need to know right here. Like this is it. That's all you got to know. But if you're doing gaming, there is more steps to it. And then also I'll show you at the end how to render out the video correctly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to unlink this file and don't, don't mind all these recording files. We're going to actually delete these. Let me, uh, let me delete these to the bottom. These are not important. I want to make this look as clean as possible. So if you have your video clip, you have your audio clip. Those extra ones are just like little things I do when I edit. Don't worry about it. Also remember, obviously save often, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unlink. For me, it's just a shortcut U to make it so the video is separate from the audio. And then you wanna copy this video track. So see, now you have two layers. Now you wanna copy it to have a third layer. So then just to make it easier, I grab all the uh, layers, right click, go to group, make it one group. So now they're all back together again. They're all smooth. So now here's where we're gonna do the layers. Now, this is important you do this first before you start chopping the video, is if you start chopping your video, then you're gonna have to do this to each individual clip, where if you just do it now, when it's all one long, big clip, you only have to do this part one time. So I'm saving you a lot of time by doing this in this correct order. So we're gonna start with our bottom clip. What we do is you just go through and you wanna do match output ratio, our match output aspect, and then right here you can see in the background, it's filling up. So that's exactly what we want. And then what I do is I go to my video effects and I add a Gaussian blur, which blurs it down in the back. So that's all I gotta do for the bottom layer. So bottom layer is your background layer. Then we go to the middle layer here and we're gonna do, I have a preset and I'm gonna show it to you. I call it TikTok gameplay. And you can see right here, I have, if you can see, if it'll let me uh, drag here, there we go, drag. I have it right before it hits my webcam right here. So that way I get as much gameplay as I can without duplicating my webcam. And then for the final one, this is the one that takes, this is the one that's gonna be different for each person. I personally like having the circle webcam. This top one is gonna be your webcam. Like I said, I like the circle webcam. Some people though, you might want your whole box as your webcam and you can absolutely do that. But for my uh, my example here, you wanna go down to mask here at the bottom. 
And then, like I said, I have a preset. So we're going to do TikTok face. Because that's what I have a set as because I was doing these as TikToks. And you just want to find your circle. And you want to get it. You want to get the circle. You're going to change it just about every time because, like, you move in your camera. And you just want to center it as best you can on you. For me, like I said, it's a circle. For you, it might just be the square. Then you want to go over to position. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so the circle is going to be right here at the top. So once again, I have a preset. But all you have to do is do this one time and then you can save your own preset. So I just have to find TikTok face. There it is, TikTok face. And then you can see it right here that we have the whole face now. So now I'm just going to make that face a little bit bigger. And then you're going to center it the best you can. You know, no one really, I you know, I just eyeball it. And that's about good enough. And so now we have our clip ready. Now obviously we're going to save again. And then right here, as you can see, look, look, right we here. have the video look, in a perfect ammo. format. Oh, I think the circle is a little bit too close to the bottom there. So I'm actually going to adjust this down just a little bit oh uh, it's like let's just make it maybe a little bit smaller there we go and now i can there that, i think that looks a lot better right there so now we'll hit save here and then we're actually going to chop it down to what we want now this is very important when you're actually editing we have the hard part done now you actually have to edit what part of your clip you want to actually be your clip so for it to be a youtube short it has to be a minute or less that is a requirement now i've read around i've been trying to do all the research i can on these youtube shorts and everyone is saying that around 20 seconds or less is the best because the shorter your video is what what that means is the shorter your video is the more people are going to watch it all the way through so if you have a 20 second video and someone watches 10 seconds of it they watch 50 percent of your video which is really good now if you have a video that's a minute long and someone watches 10 seconds of it they've only watched one sixth of your video that's not as good so you want to the shorter that it is the better now obviously a lot of my shorts are like almost the full minute that's just because i like the i like to have like the full story in there so you can absolutely do that but i'm just letting you know like what i read on the internet the shorter the better however it's totally up to you as long as it's under a minute you're good to go let's i'm gonna go ahead and chop this down and make it exactly what i want it to be now okay so i've made some progress on this clip i'm not quite done but i wanted to show you guys a little quick trick that i didn't think about until just now so as you can see we have my clip going on here and then in the middle of this clip, I have a cut. As you can see right here, I make it bigger. I wanted to zoom in on this five versus two. For me, this is very important in the clip. I think it makes it even funnier when you, you know, when you watch the rest of the clip. And since we have all these on separate layers, I was able to zoom in on this middle clip, the middle main game, as you can see here. See, I, I zoomed it in. I'm gonna fix that now, obviously. Uh, but it didn't mess with the webcam. So like the webcam is still the same size all the way through which just makes it easier on the eyes in my opinion now you don't have to do it that way everyone has their own editing style but i just wanted to show you it's nice to have multiple layers here so you can have free edits like that so i wouldn't normally do this in my clips but since i just showed you guys that last example i'm gonna do it again this time in the next clip i'm gonna go from this normal webcam to making the webcam as you can see here now bigger because the rest of the gameplay in the background isn't important but you don't want the background to be blacked out because then it's you know not appealing to the eyes but as you can see, you can do the same thing. I just wanted to show you, if you have the layers, I was able to edit like how my webcam sits without messing with anything else, which is nice. So I just wanted to show you guys that clip one more time. And now we are done with our clip. So we took this whole video. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. Let me hit save. Right now we have it down to 27 seconds, which is really good for the YouTube algorithm. And so this was our original clip. It was, we slide it all the way over. It was a three minute clip. Now that's just because I clip things three minutes at a time it actually started about here so if we actually started about here let's see how long this clip like was so it was about 42 seconds if i would have kept the whole thing in 42 seconds and it was you know your standard clip and then we were able to edit it down to the portions that i thought were the funniest and we can go ahead and hit play and i'm gonna show you like what that clip turned out now this clip if you actually just want to watch it was uploaded so this video went up at 6 p.m eastern this clip this youtube shorts did go up at noon today so this this clip has already been out so you guys can go watch it on there if you'd like to and actually i would appreciate it if you did but now we're gonna watch this clip together so here we go one might be in the plane Bed. thank you yep see so as you can see right there i zoomed I like in the five versus two oh goodness, just to show the audience that we're looking for two more people someone give me a second <gasps> oh <my. laughs> and then you can see right there i found the two people hiding like snakes which is why i named the title hiding like snakes and for basically the rest of the clip i'm just laughing because I think it's funny when I'm laughing, and I'm going to show you this <laughs> transition here. Wait, they were both up there? <laughs> yeah. Which is right there. That way, see, the best play doesn't matter no. in the background. What? But my laughing, no. I think, is funny. And I think that that's going to get people to continue to watch just because my laugh is so funny. Now that we have our clip, 
everything we want we've trimmed it down just the way we like it now we're going to render it and this is another very very important step you want to make sure you render it correctly so we're going to go up here to our file render as now once again this is going to be different for every program but it's basically the same so i have it saved i have a favorite so if you're on vegas you can copy my exact settings if you want to if you're not on vegas don't worry have no fear i'm going to show you exactly but i use the magic's avc and then i have a filter on a favorite here i just call it my iphone render but here's what the the template looks like it's literally exactly what i told you at the beginning of the video you just want to make sure your width is 1080 and your height is 1920 rather than reverse like what a normal clip is and i do 60 frames per second on my clips and all these other things i did not mess with at all i except for nv coder i do if you're on vegas and you have uh, a good graphics card you, i recommend using the nv encoder but otherwise besides that the only thing that's actually important here you want to make sure you have the 1080 by 1920 as your render that way you can actually render it out so now we're going to save this as i don't know usually i save it as like whatever the title is but for now i'm just gonna say they are hiding like snakes just to remind me what this is and we're gonna render it out so i'm gonna, hopefully this doesn't crash my recording my computer rendering and recording on obs at the same time so let's see what happens but it only takes a few seconds to render it out and then we're gonna upload it to youtube and i'll show you i'll show you some more tricks over there that are very important so stay tuned now we're at the most important part of this whole process this is the number one most important process actually uploading the video and how to do it we're gonna do that right now so you want to select your video i have it right here they're hiding like snakes we're gonna open that and we're gonna upload now this is the most important part so you're gonna find the name of your title just for now i don't i don't want to put too much thought into what my title's gonna be it's gonna be something similar to what we have right here but what's so important is that in your title you put hashtag shorts and then this is just my pre-setup description that i have like you can do that as your youtube uploads but also in your description i'm gonna put cold war here but you want to put hashtag shorts also in your description this is very important you want to do in your description and your title youtube says you have to do it one or the other so you might as well do it in both it doesn't hurt to just do it in both so do it in both then we're gonna do the thumbnail i'm gonna do that here in a second these videos obviously upload instantly for now we're not going to do a playlist but after your video goes public it's i recommend having playlists i have playlists for everything because what if someone likes your shorts and they just want to watch only your shorts they can go to your channel they can find your shorts playlist. i'm not going to put in the playlist yet because it's not going live right now i always just as soon as the video goes live i move it over to the playlist we're going to go down to our options and you have your tags and then obviously we're going to have our title for me this is a gaming clip so i'm going to put call duty as my title and then you have your elements the adding end screen and adding cards i've heard to not add these on shorts if you want it to be a short not to add them i'm not 100 sure if that's true or not but i just don't do that and then we go to visibility and for me i want this to be scheduled you obviously you know you might want it to be public now but i'm going to schedule this for the 4th at 12 p.m is that's exactly when it's going up it's going up on thursday at 12 p.m and then we're going to hit schedule now what we're going to do before we're actually done here is we're gonna we have to make a thumbnail now because if you see this is the thumbnail everyone's gonna see and that's ugly looking so let's hop into a thumbnail so here is my youtube shorts thumbnail preset that i made myself it's literally just like you have text here and then in the background i have the call of duty cold war in the background so you can see and then i just made this little thing i just downloaded a youtube logo and i just typed out shorts right under it and from here you just basically just want to create just like a simple thumbnail it can be whatever you want i personally like to have the same like the same template like the shorts logo and all of them just because i just think it just makes it like easier to find the shorts for the people who just want to see your you know really short form content rather because some people you know they're just here for the shorts they're not here for your full videos and that's okay so we got to make it easier for them to find it all right so i am the farthest from good at making thumbnails but this is what i came up with hiding like snakes pops out it's easy to read and youtube shorts is very clearly in the image so that's what we're going to work with now we're going to go ahead and put that onto our youtube video our shorts video i should say and here we are that's it that is the final we have our title which obviously you know you do whatever you want you just make sure you have hashtag shorts in the title you have hashtag shorts in the description go ahead and put a thumbnail on there just because if it's not in the shorts algorithm then you still it's still going to show up as a video on your channel so you don't want it to look ugly so you have your thumbnail whatever you want it to look like look like like i said i've heard not to do the end screens and the cards and then i recommend you put it in the playlist you absolutely do not have to though but you are good to go you go ahead and upload this and even though the thumbnail is a full 1920 by 1080 doesn't matter so what you want now at this point here's what i have found you want to hit it's called the youtube short shelf or basically when you click on a youtube video and this only works on your phone under it it will recommend youtube shorts now from what i have found none of my shorts ever go on that shelf 
until it's at least 24 hours after the video has been uploaded. I don't know if that's just like coincidence or what, but so far none of my shorts have ever hit the algorithm in the first 24 hours. They all have hit it anytime after the 24 hours, like, like right at the 25th hour up to like a few days later. But that's just what it seems like for me. So just go ahead and upload these. The more the merrier. I mean, if you think about it, making a one minute clip is very easy to do. I'm, you know, obviously only make as many as you can make. Don't overwork yourself. However, if you can make them daily, you absolutely should. I mean, what's one minute clip? And if you think about it, you can make like five of them in a day. That's five minutes worth of content or less if you do like the 20 to 30 second range and you're good to go. And like I said, I've made it a video before. These are fantastic for your videos. And if you're a TikTok person, you can upload the exact same video, like the exact same file to TikTok. Like it's the exact same thing. You don't have to do anything else. It's like already in the TikTok format. That's why like all my presets were named TikTok. But that is it. That is how you make YouTube shorts. I've had a few people ask me, and so I just wanted to go ahead, take it, take this time to make the video now. I didn't want to make it too long because I want to make it like easy to understand. Like I said, though, if you're not on Vegas, you're just going to have to work with your own program. And the only thing that's really important is instead of a 1920 by 1080 video, you do 1080 by 1920. And then the same thing for 1280 by 720. You just flip them around. That's all you got to do. Make it vertical. And everything else is just helpful tips. But the vertical video and then the hashtag shorts in your title in the description are the only things necessary to do this. So have fun creating uh, content. Don't forget to subscribe, like on your way out, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.